guys, it's Claire. I am here today, not in my room like I normally am, so you might be wondering, where the heck am I? I am in the hospital. That is why I have an IV pole with, you know, balloons on it behind me. Um, this is my 68th day here of this particular hospitalization as of today, which is May 29th, and it is my 76th day in the hospital this year, which is a long time to be in a hospital in the year. I don't know how many days there have been this year, but there have not been that many. Like, that proportionally is a lot of time. Yeah, I am in the hospital because I have chronic Lyme disease slash Bartonella. I finally got diagnosed with it in February after having symptoms since, like, seventh grade. So that's a long time to go without being diagnosed. But now I am diagnosed and I'm getting treatment. I have, and if you don't like needles or seeing, like, things, ports coming out of people's skin. You may not like seeing this, but I have a port in my arm, um, and that's not blood that's being infused. I know it's a weird color. That's one of my medicines. It's an antibiotic, but it keeps me being able to eat. When I'm not on it, I, like, my GI tract shuts down and I stop being able to eat, so very important antibiotic that I'm infusing right now. I just finished filming and I realized I did not explain at all what, um, chronic Lyme is. Um, essentially, it's really controversial. The CDC says if you get bitten by a tick and you get some sort of illness, it will be cured with two to four weeks of antibiotics. And then you're good. You're, the infection's gone, you're cured, you're, ma you're better. So anyway, um, so the CDC says it cannot be chronic, but doctors like mine say no, actually, all the different tick-borne diseases and all the co-infections like Bartonella, you have to treat all of those things and it does take, especially if you catch it late, longer than two to four weeks. So I am probably going to need to be on some form of antibiotics for a while, going to be on IV antibiotics for the foreseeable future, and also IV fluids because I can't drink without it hurting my stomach, now I can eat but I can't drink, so I need IV fluids. We don't really know why that's the case, but it is. I'll leave some more information about Lyme disease down below because I can't really get into it with all the brain fog that I have, and maybe eventually I'll make a more in-depth video about Lyme and Bartonella and symptoms and stuff. New things in my life. I am using a wheelchair if I have to walk long distances. I actually walked the most that I've walked any time recently today, so that was great, but I have a wheelchair that I use if I have to walk long distances, and if I have to, like, not walk, because I'm obviously not walking if I'm in the wheelchair, am I? But if I have to go long distances, I use a wheelchair. Some people seem to be kind of ignorant to the fact that a lot of people who use wheelchairs can stand up and walk. I'm using one because I have joint pain and just because of the energy, like, I get very fatigued, my muscles have wasted a lot, so... Oh, another thing! On my, like, lack of sunlight and vampireness, I'm basically nocturnal. I go to sleep sometime between, like, 5 a.m. if I'm, like, if it's a good day and, like, 12 at noon, and then I wake up around 3, sometimes, like, 6 if I sleep in. Very deficient in vitamin D. I'm basically just a vampire. <laughs> Other random news, I used to only wear, um, Burks. And I loved my Burks. I would always wear them. My feet would get warm in anything else. And now my feet are freezing. So I'm legit, I'm breaking back like the early 2000s, like horrible, like tall Uggs with like a little skirt. So basically I'm wearing Uggs with like everything and summer clothing and I look ridiculous. But if I don't wear them, my feet freeze. So I'd rather look ridiculous and not be horribly uncomfortable and have my feet be freezing and basically feel like I'm getting frostbite. And I'm also able to use my computer again, and this is like my child, so I'm very, very happy. I got too weak to be able to use this, and like, my hands were too weak to use it, my, I couldn't pick it up, because it was too heavy. My joints would hurt when i type. Um, my joints still hurt using my computer, but I can use it so I can actually edit, which is like, great, fantastic. So anyway, until I talk to you guys next time, bye!